everyone today i am going to tell a story the name of the story is bambi bambi is a roe deer or a young deer let us know more about this young deer in the story let's get into the story and know it once upon a time there was a roe deer or a young deer whose name is bambi lived in a forest with her mother called felin felin is a female deer mother deer these two deers used to stay together live together and play together roe deer wanted to play for long time these two used to play in the forest for long time after they f- play for long time this roe deer young deer used to get tired young deer in the sense roe deer means it is not a fawn it is not a, a new born a uh, deer it is a young deer like your age deer it is not old deer it is not old stag it is a young deer and it it got tired and it is to lie down on the ground when the uh, roe deer was lying on the ground at that time mother deer felin used to nibble the leaves eat the leaves nearby leaves trees and when the uh, roe deer was tired and it fell asleep for a while at that time this mother deer went into the thick forest for food after mother felin went into the thick forest and it fell asleep this roe deer fell asleep and it heard one day at that time it heard one sound sound it heard all of a sudden it woke up and saw if anybody is there but it could not find this road it did not find anyone nearby and again the sound came and it heard that sound and it was just looking towards the direction of the sound it went to to the uh, place where the sound is coming but it could not find it was puzzled at it thought that it may be my mother felin's voice my be it thought and then slowly it try to go towards that sound when it was going towards the sound there was a big stag old stag adult stag was standing ahead and blocking the way blocking the path not to go anywhere so that young deer actually eagerly wanted to meet her mother but here is a deer which is blocking the way not to go towards that direction so this young deer did not have time to even greet this stag and it has in its, its mind to go to felin and uh finally it said i don't have time to talk to you now i want to go and uh, just uh, move aside i want to leave this place this uh, uh, road is said at the time this tag asked where are you going bambi when tag asked like that and uh, this road here bambi said i am going to meet my mother then stag said don't go you are not supposed to go then bambi again said my mother is calling me therefore i want to go to my mother no stag is saying no your mother is not calling that is not your mother's voice when stag said like that bambi again said no i know my mother's voice again you hear again the sound is coming some voice you can hear that is my mother's voice i want to go to that place bambi said but this tag said no that was that is not your mother's voice so if at all if you want to go i will also come along with you so these two uh, went together as they are going this road here is uh, running then stag said you are not supposed to run in this forest at this moment because you have to just listen me because you are not aware of the forest forest is a dangerous forest there will be some wild animals and also there will be some hunters 
who will uh, trap you so you have to look around and see and observe and walk slowly and then the bumbi said okay if you say so i will follow you it said and the stag said i will walk for forward you have to come behind me so as they are moving so sometimes this young deer is running and moving forward then stag said you always has to walk along with me side by side or behind me but you are not supposed to go before me and to, for that uh, this bumbi agreed and walked behind the stag as they are going even stag said you should not even make the sound of your hoofs there should not be any hoofs sound when you are walking and also you should not even make the sound of the uh, leaves so in such a way slowly you have to walk the stag told to the bumbi bumbi never th- saw walking anyone like that so it walked such a slow motion they went to the towards the sound so they finally they reached a place from where the sound is coming but here this stag did not take uh, bumbi directly towards the uh, place where the sound is coming but uh, the stag took the bumbi in a uh, opposite direction in reverse in way after the and bumbi so was standing at one place and watching somebody is calling like come come like a birds twittering and then when bumbi saw a man behind a tree and bumbi's heart was beating pounding like anything beating faster and faster and it is stuck to the ground it is not moving forward even stag also standing and saying so we are closer to the place from where the sound is coming and stag is telling to the bumbi see bumbi there is a man behind a tree he wanted to catch you he wanted to trap you and we have to be very careful now this time you should not even run and go away and you have to just follow do just as i do act just as i act stag said to bumbi and you have to walk slowly move back to towards the uh, another direction to to another place we have to go from this place and then stag and uh, the bumbi moved and walked uh and to another place in zigzag position they did not go straight away they went this way this way like that they made so many curves in their walk going back so finally after they went to far away place they were in safe place and at that time and uh, this bumbi wanted to thank the stag that Uh, the stag saved bumbi from the man but bumbi could not find stag there suddenly it disappeared and bumbi was thinking who could that be it is a magical stag which came into the forest to save bumbi from the man so they could not find falin where she went they did not know but here this bumbi was saved by the stag stag is the one uh, which is a magical figure in this story which is sent by god to save this bumbi i hope you understood the story okay this is the way uh, we have to learn the story now in this story what is the moral of the story so uh, we have to no we should be aware of our surroundings so this is a young deer it is not a mature deer it is not wise deer okay it did not know uh, where the enemies are so we have to look around 
and do things otherwise we will meet many accidents and we will get trapped by the hunter so this is the story i hope you understood the story thank you